Students at Columbia University are holding their ground for a 10th day of protest today. And now some students have filed a lawsuit as talks with the university continue. The tent encampment on the quad has grown significantly. This is video from April 17th here when they first started the movement and then video today where you can see dozens more tents have now been added to the lawn. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram at Columbia University with the latest developments today. Jennifer. Hi, Christine and Dick. You know, as Columbia University officials and pro-Palestinian supporters try to find a peaceful solution, a pro-Israel rally was held outside of the campus here today. Hundreds attended. And we did also talk with organizers for the encampment inside. They tell us they don't think this is going to end anytime soon. Just weeks away from commencement at Columbia University, an encampment with pro-Palestinian supporters is still going strong. If they want commencement to happen, they have the demands. Pro-Palestinian supporters set up an encampment inside the campus last week Wednesday, demanding the administration agrees to their demands to divest financially from companies that do business with Israel. They gave an update on negotiations with faculty Friday afternoon. They believe they can outstand us. We tell them that they cannot. We have proved the power of the student movement. It is inconceivable that we would agree to the university's propositions. Earlier Friday, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez met with students on campus. Bring them home! Bring them home! And outside of the campus, a Bring Hostages Home rally was held on Broadway. Hundreds of pro-Israel supporters attended. I want the hostages to go back home. My cousin Omer Shemtov is being held hostage in Gaza for 203 days. It's unbearable, if I'm honest, but I tell myself that if it's unbearable for me, what is it for him? This comes as several students at Columbia University filed a complaint against faculty, alleging discrimination against Palestinian students. The treatment that I've gotten as a Palestinian student at Columbia has been horrible. We want them to adopt a definition of anti-Palestinian racism. Jewish students at the university express their own concerns. On this campus, people chant that Zionists are not welcome, calling on, quote, death to the Jewish state. Governor Kathy Hochul responding. Every school is required. Every school that receives state and federal funding has to create a non-discriminatory environment. And organizers for the encampment tell us there's no actual deadline for negotiations. They are taking things hour by hour. We are still waiting for an official statement from Columbia University, but the last statement that was sent over to us, we were told that a formal process is underway. From Columbia University, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.